Hi guys, I'm Mark from VPN Mentor. Welcome to our tutorial and review of Hide My Ass VPN, which is one of the most popular VPN providers in the world. Today I will show you account registration and payment process, how to set up their VPN application. Also, we'll test their support and hopefully save your time by doing all of it, so you can decide yourself is it worth it. And if you find the video helpful, please like it, share it, or leave us a comment below. So here we are at Hide My Ass VPN website. You can choose to browse it in multiple languages if you find it easier, but for today we'll stick with English. If you scroll the page down, you can see all of the features they are offering. They have a huge global network and at this moment they have servers in over 190 countries. They have great software that you can run on all your devices and across all operating systems. A possibility of using two devices simultaneously including routers. And all subscription plans come with a 30 day money back guarantee. Now, I should mention that Hide My Ass is based in the United Kingdom, which has strong consumer protection laws, but also has data retention laws, which apply to VPNs. So Hide My Ass does keep some logs, which might not be suitable for certain users. Before you subscribe, you should uh, go through details here just to be sure what you're getting into. Now, let's go back to pricing plans. Here we see they're offering three different plans, one, six, and 12 months. This time we'll go with one month plan, but I recommend choosing 12 months since it's usually the cheapest option. We have standard payment options, as you can see, no Bitcoin, which is inconvenient since people looking for VPNs are usually looking for privacy and Bitcoin would ensure that privacy. We will choose PayPal. Before we go further, I would like to mention that if you're looking for good deals and coupons on VPN services, you can check out our coupon page at vpnmentor.com. It is updated on a regular basis, so you can always find the best deal. Okay, so next step after the payment has been verified is creating an account. When you're done with creating an account, the software download begins automatically, and if your payment has not yet been verified, you will be asked to wait for a few minutes. And here's how your account looks like after you register. As you can see, we have some regular options here. You can edit your details and redeem your activation code. A bit further down you can see the details on the plan you chose and cancel all the renewal options. And on the bottom of the page you have instructions for manually installing the VPN on routers or other devices without using software. After you've downloaded and successfully installed Hide My Ass Pro software, start it up and log in with username and password you created previously. Before proceeding with login, let's go through some of the main settings of Hide My Ass Pro software. Not a lot of options here, pretty basic. I like to run it on startup and log automatically. We got some options regarding unsecured Wi Fi connections and two checkboxes show status icon and menu bar and third party crash reporting. Alright, let's log in now. As you can see, we have a choice of three modes here instant location and freedom mode. What instant mode does is it scans speed of nearby servers and connects you to the fastest one. Location mode gives you options of choosing a specific server that you like from any country or city that Hide My Ass has servers in. Also, there's a favorites tab where uh, you can save your favorite servers for quick access later. And finally, we have a freedom mode, which is useful in countries that are under strict censorship regimes. And what it does is it lets users connect to the fastest available server in the closest country identified by Hide My Ass as safe and pro-free speech. So let's run instant mode now. As you can see, our closest and fastest running server at the moment is in Belgrade, Serbia. We have successfully connected. And let's see the information on this server. You can see we have our original and public IP addresses here along with the timer for your current session. I'm going to disconnect now and try the location mode. Let's try, for example, United States, New York. And we're connected. Let's check the info. The original IP is the same as before, but the public IP address is now from a server in New York. Ok, we're going to disconnect from the server now and run some tests on our original network. So here is the current IP address with all the information regarding it. Uh, you can see we're not using VPN right now. Now let's test the speed of our local connection. So here are the results, seem like a solid and stable connection, ping is 10 milliseconds, download speed 58.76 megabytes per second, and upload is 3.90 megabytes per second. 
And our last test includes Netflix. Now I'm gonna search for a show that is not available in my country. It's uh, the show Lost. See, I've got various results, but the one I'm looking for is not on the list. So I'm gonna contact their support and ask them which server is the best to access the Netflix catalog. Head back to their website, click help, write down what you're looking for. You will get top results on that subject and in the bottom here you can see a live chat button. We're gonna test how quick their support is. Now write down your details, choose a topic here and ask away. This is a very quick response, it took them less than 15 seconds. They say we should connect to a Liberty Island server in US or Donkey Town in UK. So let's turn VPN on again and connect to USA Liberty Island. That was quick connection, now we're gonna run the same test as before. So here you can see we have a different IP address now and uh, all the information about it. You can even see the location on the map. Uh, let's go ahead and check the speed now. You can see here we're connected to a server Atlantic Metro in New York City. So this is the result, the ping is 119 milliseconds, download speed is 2.55 megabytes per second and upload is 2.21 megabytes per second. So it's a rather slow connection but it should be good enough for our Netflix test. So let's head to Netflix, uh, be sure to clear cookies and open up a new browser before you proceed. I am gonna type lost again and there it is. Now let's see if it's working. Looks like everything is fine. Now I'll just fast forward a bit to see if there's any buffering. Yeah, it looks like the server is a bit slow. We could probably find a better one, but what's important is that it's working and that we have successfully bypassed Netflix VPN detection and blocking. Okay, now that we're finished with these tests, uh, it's time to unsubscribe and ask for a refund. We're gonna head back to our account on HideMyAss website and first thing we're gonna do is cancel all the renewal and then we'll apply for a refund. Now as you can see here HideMyAss 30 days money back policy comes with some strings attached. The main reason for this is to prevent people from abusing it because for example if you have already transferred more than 10 gigabytes of data they consider you got your money's worth and therefore you're not entitled to a refund. Now since we do fulfill the requirements, let's uh, click here and request our money back. Fill in the details and write down the reason you're requesting a refund and submit. So our request has been successfully submitted and now we wait and see how long will it take for them to reply. So this is their reply. It took them less than 24 hours and it's a personal message in which they're kind of asking to give it all another shot. Unfortunately for them, this time we're gonna have to proceed with our request. If you want more information on HideMyAss VPN, I suggest you go to our review page where you can find a lot of details. You can see their rating here, there are some excellent expert reviews and quite a lot of user reviews. And you can also compare it to other VPN providers, which can be very useful for finding the right VPN for you. Well that concludes our tutorial and here is the summary. What's good about HideMyAss is it's successfully unblocking geo-restricted content, application is easy to use. They have a great number of servers across the world and very responsive support. What's not good is that they're obliged to keep logs, which is inconvenient for most of VPN users. Also one thing I wasn't satisfied with was speed of the server recommended by their support. Then again with so many servers available I'm sure it's always possible to find a better one. So that's it, great job hide my ass. Thanks for having listened to us and if you appreciated our video please share, like or comment below.